Thank you, everybody, for joining us for our fourth Silicon Salon um, in June. We'll be uh, have been doing this for a year, so thank you very much. Um, this is a collaborative session. Uh, if you want to follow along, uh, or if you're you know uh, having problems uh, viewing the screen, there also is a uh, way to follow us on the slides uh, via. Uh, this other uh, mechanism, which I'm just trying to figure out how to, uh, where did the window go? There we go. Nope, that's not it either. I'm looking for the chat window, which has now somehow disappeared. There we go. So that's the actual presentation. Uh, also, we have collaborative notes, uh, which are here. Uh, which everybody can si simultaneously edit. Uh, the notes are, um, uh, you know, if you add anything, just, you know, add it to the bottom. And if you want to put your name in here, uh, just uh, be fine. You'll be listed as a participant. Uh, we'll also be uh, uh, posting some, uh, uh, you know, excerpts from our conversations as uh, they go along. Um, so what is blockchain commons? Uh, well, we're a community interested in self-sovereign control of digital assets. Uh, we bring together stakeholders to collaboratively develop interoperability in among our uh, infrastructure. Uh, we design decentralized solutions where everyone wins, and we're a neutral not-for-profit to enable people to control their digital destiny. So I'm Christopher Allen. I'm the Principal Architect and Executive Director of Blockchain Commons. Um, what is a Silicon Salon? So we have discovered uh, over the last couple of years that there really is a need to bridge wallet requirements and semiconductor development. Uh, we also need to bring in the academic uh, research as well as real world practice. And this is just a really interdisciplinary problem uh, that uh, where we have many different communities uh, different language, uh, uh, different approaches, different incentive models, uh, but we really need to work together if we're going to build a uh, more secure world. So what we're doing is uh, collaboratively engineering interoperable specifications that multiple organizations can use, uh, evangelizing these solutions back to the ecosystem, and then support our partners with reference code and test suites and things of that nature to make all of this uh, new technology work. So um, who is a part of this community? Well, we obviously have semiconductor designers, uh, you know, uh, Bunny Studios, Crossbar, Cranium, Tropic Square, um, uh, Red, Red uh, I, I'm, uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, we have uh, wallet hardware manufacturers, foundation, proxy, validating lightning signer, uh, bit, various Web3 ecosystem members, Bitmark, Chia, Unchain Capital, advocacy organizations sponsor us as well, Human Rights Foundation and Rebooting Web of Trust. And of course, uh, we have academics, cryptographers, protocol designers, et cetera, that are part of this community. At our last event, we focused on multi-party computation, uh, where we discussed current innovations in the industry around uh, multi-party computation. Uh, we had some discussion about how do we trust the transistors, and we had our first pure cryptography discussion um, uh, about cryptography on silicon. Uh, today's challenges is filling in the gaps. So how do we truly protect our keys and seeds in the hardware? How do we trust that, that hardware more? Uh, what instruction sets are required for cryptography? And is it really even possible to open source our hardware? What does that mean? Uh, what advantages does it give us? Uh, we're going to spend probably about an hour, hour and a half um, on the presentations uh, with a little with a limited Q&A. <clears throat> but our real focus is uh, afterward having a open uh, dialogue about open hardware and what does that mean and what uh, what are the what's the value proposition and of course leave a little bit of time to talk about uh, various ways we can collaborate together. Uh, again, the uh, collaborative notes are available. Um, the the uh, uh, 
we are applying the Chatham House rules. So participants are free to use the information that they uh, receive here, but neither the identity nor the affiliation of the speakers may be revealed except for the three presentations. Those we are recording and presenting on YouTube, um, but we really will not uh, uh, be sharing the Q&A uh, that we will be and the facilitated discussions later. Uh, we are only recording to produce an anonymized summary. Um, so we run things through Mac Whisper or get Brian Bishop's uh, uh, able help or whatever uh, to, you know, to get a good transcript, uh, but then we anonymize it. Uh, the, the summary will, is largely quotes and we do not include the names and there'll be a, you know, a brief, uh, opportunity that if you say, if you feel like, oh, I maybe shouldn't have said that, that you can get it removed from that summary. We have three presentations today, uh, anti-exfil, preventing key exfiltration through signature non-state from Andrew, um, and then uh, scalar and vector draft big integer instructions uh, from uh, Luke and David. And then Mark Davis will be presenting pitfalls and approaches to open source security on semiconductors. <laughs>